The Prince of Egypt is one of my favorite animated films, and since I'm in the process of making an in-depth analysis of the movie, I decided to draw the main character, Moses. The character design in The Prince of Egypt is wonderful. Characters are grounded by a refreshing sense of realism, which we seldom see in animation. They are defined by beautiful shapes and lines that speak to their Middle Eastern ethnicity. They are also defined by expressive features that give them a remarkably vivid emotional reality. However, artistic license is still used to create that rich, larger-than-life hand-drawn aesthetic that makes traditional animation so unique and captivating. I've drawn the character of Moses as he is depicted after having left Egypt and matured into a strong, independent leader. Moses is characterized by high cheekbones, eyes that are set fairly wide apart, and relatively thick lips. Moses has an appealing design. His features appear kind, open, and approachable. His hair, being thick and long, seems to give his character weight and warmth, and coupled with his beard, it creates a sense of authority while at the same time making him appear wise, kind, and loving. I usually begin drawing a character by drawing a rough drawing first. Drawing roughly frees you up to work quickly and problem solve without second guessing yourself all the time. With a rough drawing, you can painlessly make mistakes, correct them, and figure out the dimensions, shapes, and composition of your desired image. When I am satisfied with my rough drawing, I change the opacity of the layers I've been working on to about 30 to 40 percent. I then make a new layer which I use for my clean line work. It's amazing how quickly a drawing can come to life when you add line work after successfully pinning down your dimensions and style in your rough drafts. I love adding line work because I'm virtually just tracing over the rough layers below. Of course, I'm still adding new elements as I go. The rough drawings are just a guide. So feel free to trust your intuition and allow your line work to deviate from your rough drawings if you feel inspired or see an opportunity for an improvement. I usually begin drawing a character's face by outlining their head and then drawing their eyes. As humans, we've evolved to be very aware of the subtleties of eyes so it's imperative that one achieves the right look for the eyes since it can affect the drawing profoundly if the eyes look off. When I draw, I don't draw continuous lines. I draw lots of small lines and slowly but surely connect them all together. I also jump around quite a bit. So I might draw a bit of the chin, then some hair, and then work on the eyes. Perhaps then I'll move down to the hands, the legs, etc, etc. This allows me to map my images more effectively and make sure that everything works together. When line work is complete, I then move on to color. For this image, I color picked my palette from a screenshot of the movie. While there are quick ways to color with Photoshop's lasso tool, I often enjoy the meditative process of coloring with the brush tool by hand. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. You can also ask questions and make suggestions for future videos in the comment section below. This is In Depth Annie. Thank you for watching.